Burlington Transit and the Burlington Seniors Community Initiatives unveiled the first heated bus shelter on Teen Tour Way last week. But one of our goals is to help seniors in uh, Burlington, in, in, in our community. We're close to the senior center, and we also know there's a, a, there's a bus stop that is really needed. But the bus stop, if you notice, um, the bus shelter here is a little larger, that, that could accommodate uh, walkers and wheelchairs. Normal circumstances, uh, it's a vibrant community in there of seniors, and uh, and they have to take the bus or 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 a car. Uh, the ones taking the bus uh, can, after their programs, can go into the bus shelter, and if it's uh, below zero uh, degrees Celsius, um, they can push a button and the heat will come on. This location was first brought to us through BSCI. Uh, they came to us, wanted to contribute to a shelter. Uh, we both agreed this spot would be very good uh, with the Senior Center, Central Park, and as well as in September 2019, we had some route changes. And the Route 4 that actually stretches basically entire Burlington, so Aldershot go all the way to Appleby and hits a lot of major destinations, comes right here. Burlington Transit says this is only the first one, and hope heated shelters will help winter transit seem more appealing. Across the GTHA you see that ridership can decline in the winter, it's colder, people find other ways to get around, um, whether it's Uber or taxi, but having a shelter that's warm allows them to feel more comfortable taking transit, waiting for the bus to come, and then when they get on the bus it's already warm and toasty for them as well, so it's definitely makes it a lot nicer. <laughs> Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.